On the field here, it's Adam Beard to Johnny McNichol, dancing around that Italian defence. Toby Falatar, here it is now, it must be! And it is, and it's Owen Watkins who scores! A turbo boost of try from Wales! Quietly goes about his business, and he's really very hard to make that centre shirt his own. We've seen glimpses of him in defence, he's renowned for ripping the ball in the tackle, that's his thing, but what we really wanted to see is how good he can be in attack, using his agility. Really lovely, just out the back door play there. Giving Wales plenty of options. Your side, Sean. Have they got the critical mass to get all the way? And through this Italian defensive rear guard. And over that line, the answer is yes. And it's Dowie Lake, and will that be the bubble bursting try? When you see how he's just holding in behind Dowie Lake, he's giving him the communication, he's telling him to stay in. He's basically his eyes looking up, scanning the defence. Great tackle. But Wales still have it through Leon Brown. As Perinelli brought him down. Here is Adam Beard, now Moriarty throws the ball to Josh Adams. Adams, can he get around the outside? He can! Oh, Josh Adams! Initially, it wasn't the best layup for him because Ross Moriarty does a skip pass. So this is the earlier phase of play where we had some strong carries. Win Jones, what about that from him? Fending off players, but key here was the recycling. It was a floated pass to Josh Adams, which you thought he was just going to get. Player and ball, they're going to push him out on the sideline. But he reacted lightning quick here, step on the inside. Now this is going to be frustrating for the Italian management. That Italian line should have come up and closed it off. You always come up on the inside. Okay. Paravani. Capuzzo, Wells defenders up very fast indeed. Off goes the whippet, yeah. and he's through. Capuzzo is through. He might be away here. Oh, Capuzzo! And he gets support from Paravani. The Romans on the rampage. Have they found the gladiator within at last to end this horrific run of six nations defeats? When you talk about rugby as a size for all, and sometimes the smaller player gets questioned, well, you thought Shane Williams rewrote the rule book. No, no, no. Andre Carposi, he is rewriting the rule book. Talk about ambition so to play. Absolutely backs himself on the outside edge. He's completely running away from the support at this moment, so he has to make it work. A beautiful in and out, and still has the composure to put that pass in, which is crucially important because they've got to try and score under the post to secure that conversion. If you, if you take it past the 80, yeah. You, you still have to take what it within the 90. For Italian rugby. You still have to take it within yeah. the 90, yeah. Who's in, fellas? Who's in? Dan Sheehan, just his seventh international cap. The 23-year-old catapulted into the front line for Ireland in this Six Nations Championship. Ireland go to the mall. The first time they did this, they got no change. On this occasion, Sheehan breaks away. And the young man is over for the first try of the afternoon. Mr. Flynn just not able to hold Ireland away. And the kick for the corner, there's a better ball. Van der Fleer on it, the ball passed backwards, and from there, Sheehan picks up his heels and just sees Blair Kinghorn in front of him. It's not a physical mismatch, but with the momentum and the power of Sheehan, he is over Ireland of the first try of the afternoon and make the big moment count. Wonderful moments for the Leinster hooker. Tag Byrne runs into it. Strong tackle from Darge. Gibson Park looks both ways, goes the more open side. Keane Healy is put to ground. Ireland banging on the door again. Scotland trying advantage to keep it shut. Three. Conan with advantage. Jack Conan. Does he get there? No, he doesn't. Ball is back for Ireland once again. Pick and drive. Keane Healy, I think. We'll confirm it on the replay, but Ireland are in for their second try. It is Keane Healy. Full ingredients to bake a cake on this occasion for Ireland. 
it's power, it's a mall, Sheehan bursts out, but from there, it's just round the corner, it's just route one. Conan with the carry, gets within inches, and from there, this isn't the first time that we've seen Kian Healy just grab a hold yeah, of the ball right, and say, right, Sorry, mano a mano, the law of physics, he's got a... The Scottish fans that are here raise their voice, they can be heard at the Aviva. Can it spur their side on? Gray, two metres short, 11 phases. By far and away, the best passage of play from Scotland in this game so far. Schumann puts the head down. Three Irish players there, but they can't stop him. Schumann is over. Scotland keep their patience. Darcy Graham popping up again, inside ball. The fight to get another couple of inches. And from there, Schumann with the dummy. The leg drive powers his way through, reaches out, manages to nutmeg one of the Irish got defenders okay. to reach over and score. The, the close range, thud and blunder. Uh, no, can't rush oh, I think they are having a little look sure. with the TMO to question if it is short. Line, Stewie, so. I've not heard whether Wayne Barnes has asked it. Oh, it's, yeah, Wayne, it gets the yeah. white line. Mate, like Even if review, it is please. one blade of white wash. Furlough, Gibson Park, Tigburn. Ireland need to be patient, they need to execute. They've been here before and not finished the job. On this occasion, it goes to Sheehan. And that has been played to Ireland, gives it park again. Robbie Henshaw, almost there. Three Scottish players put him to ground. Caelan Doris, met by another three in Navy. Gives it park, Van der Fleer! Just Van der Fleer! Eventually, the pressure tells. You just see that again, it's Route 1 power game. Doris gets within a metre, goes backwards and from there, gives him part, just looks. Johnny Gray commits just him. It, down a second. it just oh, right. it gets the momentum. Look at the acceleration of Van der Fleer. Acceleration clear, across seen. three metres means he runs into two front rowers and he has the momentum to power his way over. We've Big smile. The assist came from Gibson Park, the finish from Van der Fleer. Inside the final two minutes, looking for the bonus That's point nice. try. Just to ratchet yep. up the pressure a little bit more on France. Ahead of the final game of the Guinness Six Nations. And Murray goes after it. And Murray has got it. And the Aviva goes crazy. Uh, absolutely delighted. Oh, and you see what it means, but look at the work of James Lowe. The defence was there, and from there, just Conor Murray, the uh, fight to Conor Murray, but the fight here of Lowe to be able to get that right paw. Off oh, goes away, sees his scrum half, uh, Murray reels it in, it becomes a one-on-one -on -one with Darcy Graham. He dips the meaty shoulders and me spins well, out of it to get himself close. over the line. Dotted down for the fourth try, desperately defending try WP Nell there. Of but it's a bolt of delight for this sure Aviva Stadium crowd. It's a bolt to, of delight okay. for Ireland. It's the bonus point try. Eight metres out, France. Dupont. Francois Cross. The Toulouse players operating in tandem. Well gathered by Villiers. The offload. That's Walkie. Here's Dupont again. They'll go wide this time. They've got the numerical advantage. Ficou, can he get in the corner? Yes, he can. hit 15 players on the pitch not like last weekend walkie crucial just takes the ball and that was far too easy really from a french point of view yes it was good but actually they were just coming around the guard the ball goes out you think Villiers is going to go on the outside but look one two three four five six england defenders come in there he does the right thing and then that's his scrum half skill from the rouen club originally he's played in the center played scrum half but also wing and now it's just a matter of numbers as you said martin ball over the top let it bounce in at the corner Again, you could say brilliant France, it, it's what France do. They exploit, you know, sort of distances and space out wide and then he just carrying on with the big runners straight at the middle. Here's Dante being met by Courtney Lewis. Cyril by the offload to Dupont. Here goes Aldrin. France working up some momentum and look at this! It's Entebac! Entebac is through! Held up a metre out! Francois Cross right in the thick of things. The ball is down, and that looks like the hand of Francois Cross to me. Yeah.
when this ball goes back. But again, look at this, just out. Beautiful play, out the back door. This time just handing off to Villiers. Holding, holding, holding. Jolon, as you said, scored that try in Cardiff. Ball comes down. So easy. And look at the oh, dexterity of Francois Crossrod at the end. But How did he get his hand through? But again, superb play, but keeping his depth. Jalon there knew he didn't have the pace to go, but he keeps his depth. Into Magensh does unbelievably well. There you go. He's over. Oh, you're allowed to do it. Youngs. Smith. Slade. Marching at pace. Try Great to... step. Such an important Can tackle from good. Francois Cross. It's still alive though for England. Marcus Smith, Elliot Daly, out there to Stewart. Stewart cuts in field. And the Leicester Tiger has got England's first try of the night. They're back in the match. Well, he's got 13 on his back, but he plays like an inside centre. That is a super, super, super line. Again, you think I went a little bit too early. I thought he was just going to brush out of uh, Pano's clutches there. As he comes through, Penno does well just to hold him back. But again, this time the ball is absolutely superb. It is quick, you can move. The forwards get involved. Smith just holds it back, holds it back. Players are deep. Stewart, like you said, he's a big fella under the high ball. He's even bigger coming towards the try line there. You're not going to stop this man. Steps back inside. Anxious to achieve what his father did. The Grand Chelem means so much to France. Into Mac. Tafifanua. Aldrich. Onto the ball. And the captain is through. Maybe Thank just you. in stature, in rugby playing wise, he's the best there is at nine in the world. But again, who makes this try when it goes back left to right? Peno, I was saying he hasn't had much of the ball. This is what he does he creates something. And it's Aldrich. Aldrich goes in. Howard straightens into the thick. They don't panic. The ball goes back. And I'm sure it's Aldrich. Tofa Fanua initially. Again, boss push. And watch this. Here you go. One, two, offload. He's normally the offload king Dupont. He scores tries. And is that the one that's going to carry France to a grand slam? Beautiful from the number eight. Eight, nine combination once more. How many times have we seen that in this Guinness Six Nations?